Hi guys, it's Yasmin, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? Hello, who you subscribe, stick around for more. In today's video, we are doing a Shein knitwear haul. It's finally reached that time of year that it's dark at 6 p.m. because it means that I can finally put my pajamas on at 4 p.m. and nobody questions me, finally. But in today's video, we are doing a Shein knitwear haul. I've got jumpers, I've got cardigans, I've got long sleeve tops, I have everything autumnal. So without further ado, if you'd like to see the Shein knitwear try on haul, just continue to watch the video. So I thought I would put this video into three sections. First, we're gonna start off with big oversized knitted jumpers, then we're gonna do cardigans, and then we're gonna go into long sleeved ribbed knitwear tops. Starting with our jumpers, we have this bad boy. I am absolutely obsessed with this jumper. This jumper is so comfortable, so thick, and it is weighty. Like you can see, if I hold it like this, it literally drags down, it's bouncing. Like that is genuinely how heavy it is. The quality is unbelievable. From Shein, I cannot believe how high quality this jumper is. I absolutely love that we have a ribbed texture knitwear. It's kind of giving granddad chic and the fabric is so comfortable and so soft. She's oversized, she's warm. You just know that this jumper is absolutely perfect for autumn and I also feel like we could pop her into winter. I absolutely love the color. I think this looks so sweet. It is a very nice neutral, we're not too warm we're not too cool it is literally perfectly in the middle so if you're looking for an all-rounder jumper this is the one for you overall I'm gonna rate this jumper a solid 10 out of 10 and you need one on to our next jumper this one is a little bit more cropped now I don't know if she's meant to be cropped or if it's just cropped on me I actually really like the fabric I think it's very comfortable I think the actual fit is very cute however there are parts of this jumper that I'm a little bit confused about number one the collar like what is happening here I'm a little bit confused as to what's happening if it's meant to be that way or if it's just come that way so uh i'm not sure don't love it and the other part of course is the jumper does feel very cropped now like i said don't know if it's meant to be that way or if it's just cropped on me what i do love though are these cute buttons and the actual color of the fabric i think it's very cute again we have a very neutral wool which i think looks so pretty this one is a little bit more lightweight but the fabric itself is very soft very comfortable i definitely think this is a perfect autumnal layering jumper the fit for me just isn't 100%. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a solid 7 out of 10. Not terrible, but just not for me. On to our next jumper. This one has a lot of detail going on. I absolutely love the weight of this jumper, very similar to the first one that I showed you. It's very heavy, so I feel like we're gonna keep very cozy, very warm in this jumper. I also love the body length of this jumper. I think it sits very nicely, very comfortably, and I also absolutely love the v-neck collar. I feel like we can pair lots of things with this, or of course, you can go about anything underneath. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is probably the actual color. It is a very warm cream, and I I personally don't think I suit them very well. So for me, this was not um, was not a win, but I feel like most people would actually look really cute in this. The actual shape itself, I did really love. And of course, like I said, the actual pattern, the texture, gorgeous. Very thick, very comfortable, and very autumnal. So I do love her, but she just doesn't love me back. So overall, I'm gonna rate her a solid eight out of 10. Not terrible, just not for me. Moving on to our next jumper. This one is, strange now this one is a very similar cream to the first one that i showed you but this one has more of a yellow undertone it is a really comfortable lightweight wool so it is soft it's cute i can feel that this would keep me warm but also not smother me the fabric itself is incredibly soft and i keep touching it just because it is simply that soft it's also not super thick and heavy i absolutely love the length of this i love where it sits on my waist and i also love where it sits on my arms and we also have a crew neck rather than the v-neck the only thing that i'm not a huge fan of in this jumper is the color don't hate it i don't think this looks terrible it's also not as yellow as the previous jumper that i showed you but um you can also see that it kind of clashes with my hair and my skin tone however i feel like i could break it up with layers and scarf it's also very comfortable and I feel like it's a very good versatile basic that I could keep in my wardrobe pretty much all year round. So overall, I'm going to rate her a solid 9 out of 10. Not perfect, but I really do love her. Moving on to the cardigan section of this video. This cardigan is thick. She has weight. She has body. Like this is a really heavy cardigan. It's it's a lot of fabric. This is obviously in brown and you can see that the texture on this jumper is absolutely stunning. It's also giving granny chic. I love how thick and long this is. It's comfortable. It's cute. I absolutely love the button detailing. Overall, I would rate this one a solid 10 out of 10. She's gorgeous. She's lovely. I will be keeping her because she's just, she's just perfect in every way. 
And moving on to our next cardigan, we have this gorgeous mauve beige color. I am obsessed. It is so beautiful. I just love it. For me, this just this this color speaks to me. She's perfect in every way. It's a very lightweight knitwear. You can basically see all the way through it. Like it, you can see my finger. I absolutely love the little cute button details, and of course the color. I said again, the color. It is just so pretty. Do I feel like if I washed it, it would fall apart? There is a high potential. However, I feel like on a very gentle silk wash perhaps this would survive and look adorable for a long time. In terms of proportions, I love how this sits on my shoulders, how it sits on my wrists, and I love where it sits on my waist. I feel like in terms of body and proportions, this is absolutely gorgeous. I it's on a solid 10 out of 10. Okay, now moving on to our tops. Starting out with this really cute button up white rib top. I am obsessed. It might be the long sleeves, it might be the button detail going up the collar, it might be the crew neck. However, as you can see in the uh, try on part of the video, she is incredible incredibly see-through. Now I feel like this is just a running theme in general with white clothing. It's always see-through. So as much as I really like this, I love how it sits, I love the shape, I love everything about this. Unfortunately I'm going to have to return it just because it is so see-through that I just can't see myself wearing it outside. It's unfortunate because she fits in the wrists and in the waist but um, I will be sending her back. I do love the button details and the rib fabric and I always feel like rib generally is a little bit thicker than most but uh, unfortunately in this case it's just not. So overall I will have to rate her a solid five out of 10 because realistically I, I can't really wear it. So great fit, terrible execution. And on to possibly my favorite piece of clothing of the entire haul, this gorgeous navy ribbed long sleeved top. I love her. Now this is a very thick rib. Fabric itself is so comfy and also super stretchy. I also absolutely adore the collar. I think this is so sweet. Like I said, I love a piece of clothing that feels like I'm making lots of effort without actually making any. It's just so cute, so comfortable. The actual fabric itself is incredibly soft and it looks so expensive. I just feel like this is the perfect piece of clothing. It's my color. It just, it just works. I feel like this is the one piece of clothing of the entire haul that I've gone you are for me, we can layer with it, which I just love. So overall, I'm gonna give her a solid 10 out of 10. And onto our last piece of clothing. It's really heavy, rib fabric itself, really stretchy, really comfortable, very thick, not see-through. However, the color that I have chosen has made me look nude. And when I was reviewing the try-on footage, I really did look and go, oh, genuinely look like I'm wearing nothing. So I love the crew neck. I love the rib. I love the texture. I love the fabric. I love everything except the color. The color that was on me. That was my choice. My bad. We'll be sending it back. And hopefully I can get this in white because the thickness of this fabric is unbelievable. But uh, in this, this nude, not for me. You know, it's a nine out of 10. It's not its fault that it came in this color. I selected it not knowing it would come out this type of nude. So yep, everything about this is perfect except except the colour. So 9 out of 10. But that is all the knitwear I had to share with you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below which one is your favourite and that's it. So love you, see you, bye!